Hey everyone, this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx and I'm here with Will, the product director for Oakley and Phil Metz from Skills with Phil, an amazing YouTube channel that you should be checking out. We are here in one icon in this beautiful museum full of Oakley heritage, but we're here to talk about something new. And Will, what do you got for it? You always got something up your sleeve. We got, yeah, we got good stuff up our sleeve and this is a very exciting year. So um, if you guys are familiar with Jawbreaker and what we came out with a, a couple years ago, um, that was our first frame that really had a cycling focus. And we feel like we did an excellent job, but even still, we can make it even better. And something, that's why we're here today. Something can always be made better. Isn't something that the Oakley, be Oakley uh, motto right there? Yeah. So, so our thought was, let's make a frame that, similar to Zero, had this unimpeded field of view, but Zero being just a lens was very, very flexible. Yep. Right? We needed to increase the retention. So essentially what we wanted to do was put the brow line on the bottom to give it that strength and retention and then completely open the top. And so, Phil, as our model, I'd like you to try it on. That's, that's the Phil color way right there. I like the pink. Yeah, yeah. Right, so you can see the upper brow line. Basically we made a convertible. Yeah, it's like you're not gonna look over the top of that frame. No. Yeah. Right, and the lens is actually, we have a, a lot of freedom here so we can have a really, really tall lens. So again, this is our tallest lens that we've ever done for upper field of view, right? And we got it to the point with a lot of headphones oh, where yeah. it was basically getting close to the helmet, right? Yeah. Which is exactly where we wanted to be. And you can see the difference. When my head's down, I'm actually looking right at the brow, right? And when Phil is, he's got nothing, nothing in the way, right? So completely unimpeded field of view. And that's the starting point for this frame and what makes it really exciting. But there's a lot more to go with it. Just like the, the field jacket we talked about earlier, this frame as well has similar features. So again, knowing that different helmets fit differently, different head forms, the, the length of the temples can crash into certain uh, helmets. So what we did is we created this aft stem and this is the exact same part as the other frame as Field Jacket, where you can take this part off and it's difficult and it's difficult on purpose because we don't yeah. want it to fall this off. This isn't something you so change three times a day. This is exactly. like once you change it to the, the length that you need, you're good. Exactly. Yeah. So, Take the, the, the longer one out, and you put a shorter one on. You can see the difference, I'll put it in the what frame. Is, it's about five millimeters, seven millimeters? It's about five millimeter difference, okay. right? And that's what, that was the sweet spot that we found, right? And so you can see the difference. The other very exciting feature, right? And we have it in both glasses again, because we found this as a big problem statement in cycling, especially when you're climbing humid environments or you're just overheating because you're getting too hot, is the glasses actually act a little bit like a hot box. So all of the heat off of your face and the distance of the lens being so close actually collects all of that heat and it stays in place. It either turns into fogging or just uncomfortable heat. So this frame as well has the built-in advancer. So this little button pulls the frame forward. So cool. About seven millimeters and it opens up all of this vent here on the bottom and on the top. So air just cycles through really easily. Instead of what most people do, which is pull the frame forward and not have the, the lens where it's supposed to be in the center of your eyes. So how do I do it? Okay, so the best way to do it is to grab with the top with your forefinger and then the bottom with your thumb and use your middle finger to push the button. What that does is it keeps it nice and straight on your face. And as you get used to it, you can do it really, really quick. Yeah, it takes a couple of times, but it, it, the first time I did it, I was like, what's going on? But now I'm definitely almost a pro at it. Yep. And then pushing it back in is really, really easy. Yeah, usually I actually put my finger right here on the, the middle, right? Because you're not really looking through the middle. Yeah, so if you get a little, a little finger. fingerprint, no big deal, right? You get it, push it right back, super quick and easy. There when you need it, and you don't even know it's there when you don't. Yeah, and uh, so when you're climbing it's, or it's a really hot day, it's probably best to have it open. And then on a fast descent, it's probably best to have it closed. Yes. Um, but what would happen if you're on a fast descent and you forget? So, and I've done this absolutely, I mean, on purpose, going down a hill, 40 miles an hour on a road bike. Product and testing. You're product testing. Yeah. And leaving it wide open just to see what would happen. Now, the retention is fantastic, so for sure it's not gonna move. They're not sliding off. not gonna off. fly off your okay. face. And all you feel is the airflow, and it actually sticks onto the edge of the lens rather than going in your eye. So it's, at, it's fantastic. So you don't have any issues with it going in your eyes, but you can feel the airflow. You really feel it cooling you off. Nice. So what about the name? Oh, the name. Good question. Okay, so the name Flight Jacket. So the intention and our, our core thought behind this frame was racing, right? When you're racing and you're down really low on the bike, going as fast as you can, you want to have unimpeded field of view, right? So that was the intention for this bike, this, this frame. 
So the name flight jacket is meant to go fast. It means to fly. You're flying. <laughs> right. So just like the field jacket name was inspired by you know this versatile military um, jacket, this is actually inspired by the jackets worn by fighter pli pilots. Okay, flight cool. Jacket. Uh, and this frame, uh, at least when it first is released in April, is not going to be uh, RXable, right? It's not going to be RXable okay. immediately. We're working on the right inserts. We yeah. want to get that maximum size inserts yeah. in, so we're still working on it, but it will be available yeah. shortly. If and when it is available, Sport RX will definitely know about it and be talking about it loudly. But the field jacket, the kind of cousin or brother of the flight jacket, is RXable. So that's definitely really cool. So um, we got the Advancer, we got the Temples, we got the Field of View. This is going to come in about eight colors initially, mm -hmm. right? Right? Mm -hmm. Basically, I think we have every color out here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wearing the, the Prism low light lens, which is amazing. Um, yeah, does, it comes in a road lens, I'm sure. Comes in a road lens. Yeah, there's actually several road lens options. There's a trail lens. Nice. We have a nice sapphire lens, and then also a photochromic. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, man, I can't think of anything else. Did we miss anything, guys? Uh, I think just the last thing, again, is the colorways. And, and we did this on purpose. We, we colored the Advancer in a lot of these a different color. You it's really see. cool, it kind of right. sticks out. Yeah. To draw a little bit of attention, right? Because this is kind of the, the first of its kind and we want to draw attention so people ask, what is that? Yeah. Right. And again, the, the, the best thing about it, it's there when you need it and when you don't, you don't notice it's there. Yeah, I would think that somebody who doesn't have any fogging issues or is not worried about that would still love this frame just because of the, the view and, and how, how uh, wide range you have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I think Oakley did it again, always advancing, get it, advancer, always advancing the industry and frames and technology. So uh, we're really stoked about this. We're definitely going to be carrying it at SportRx. Uh, if this video was helpful, we'd love a thumbs up. We'd love for you to subscribe to the SportRx channel. And if you haven't subscribed to Phil's YouTube channel yet, I definitely recommend that you do. Uh, okay, we'll see you out there not fogging up. <laughs>